Welcome back and you're still locked to Tea Time. Our final story is one we're proud to talk about as Tiwa Savage walks the runway at Naomi Campbell's Fashion for Relief event. But I won't be doing the talking as the queen of excitement will do the honors. Oh, hail the queen, Tiwa. Oh, hell, yes, majesty. Oh, my God, Nigeria, still <laughs> winning. No, like, you know when God is working for you, people can only try, but they can't bring you Definitely. down. Definitely. That's Tiwa's story. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about this. And then, when you have best friend, have the one that will help your life. You know. <laughs> don't just have, have the same page on this one. Don't just have best friend. But I don't want to say it because you guys will say I'm all about whiskey. No, I'm no, always no, but to be honest, this is Whiskey Connect. Like, yes, we man. know, we know, and we're proud of Whiskey and Tiwa. No, I mean, Did you see when they were trying to um, say who is richer between Tiwa Savage and Whiskey? And then she's like, somebody I'm like, begging for somebody money. Somebody that I've been trying to beg for money, but about giving me a score. <laughs> that was so funny. No, this yeah. is like a great one for Tiwa. I'm sure... It's her first time on the wrong way, and then she's like, Naomi taught her well, and she did really well. If you watch videos and pictures, you know that. Mm, so I'm proud of you. You're so beautiful. And she also gave credit to all those um, models out there, because it's really not easy. You know, you have to be on a diet. You have to learn how to work the right way, mm. move your right neck movement, right hand movement. I mean, right, facing that everything, crowd, that crowd is alone is not easy. Mm. And then Tiwa kind of same, nervous. I don't know yeah. if anyone knows yeah. yeah, the same kind. <laughs> From, from, from watching the clip alone, you know that oh, she was pretty much tense about it, like yeah, was, was, yeah. Was but sexy. but yeah, even when she leaned on, like oh, yeah. she oh, couldn't wait to get there. <laughs> wait to get to the spot, like I could see. But she looked so but beautiful. Looked so good. Oh my god! And like you said, that best friend is the real mm. deal. You know, that's why you need me in your life. You see, see what I'm telling you? Ordinary lunch. Just I just want to don't lunch. say that now. Nah. On television, mm. see if you go to the bedroom. Dinner in the other room. <laughs> Uh, dinner. dinner is on me, don't worry. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, um, basically, I think we need to give kudos to Tiwa Sabe mm. because um, this weekend alone has been very, very massive for Tiwa Sabe. Yeah, right. She was seen with um, PDD Didi, as yeah. well, doing his Revolt um, Summit as mm. well. And, and was, Didi was, was the Didi one doing making the video a video that was Tiwa saying, like, like, oh, look who graced us with her presence. <laughs> the queen, well, introduce well, yourself. And she was, you could tell that I, that was just so amazing when I saw that happening. So, and it's like, what? Adekunle Gold said that Africa to the world, no be small yeah, yeah. matter. As in, it's not a small thing because everybody's trying to be in the space right now, but not every yeah. artist can be yeah. in the space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I actually watched a video today from uh, the U US rapper The Baby. Mm -hmm. You know, he, uh, he go for a wedding, they all wore. Oh my god, that's like my outfit. favorite video at the moment. I've seen that video like a thousand it's, times. It's, it's really? amazing. Yeah, Hi. I need to watch that video. I saw it pop up. I saw it pop up. It dropped today, right? It was, uh, yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Or today? I saw it today, this morning. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. But, uh, but, but I, I'll it's, check it's it out. It's a dope soon. video. He, he and his crew. Um, definitely, the, the the groom is definitely Nigerian. You know, yeah. they, I think it was uh, a beanie type of outfit for wedding, traditional yeah. wedding. All wore rap rappers. Africa to the world. I think yeah. I think it's time for Africa right great. now. It and was, I think every crazy. artist right now, or aspiring artists, this is the time for you to start doing your thing. Especially with um, Swaley and um, Drake's new jam, "Won't with Be Late," techno. that that techno yeah, co-produced mm. with uh, Mike Will made it. Because everybody keeps saying techno. It's not just techno. Mm -hmm. Mike Will made it. Was <laughs> on it. But we just like to take the glory in well, Nigeria all the time. We, we well, our own stuff. Yeah, you know. yeah. That's the thing. You get the support. The support is always massive out mm. here. Once one person is getting there, you have to take the other person along, which is yeah. what Whiskey did with Tiwa Savage. Mm. I saw David O's um, interview with, um, what's it called? Old Man Ebro as well, when okay. he was talking about Lighter and why he did the remix of the song. Mm. He gave credit to, um, what's it called? Badu Olamide, Olamide mm -hmm. for helping the young man, but he said he wanted to help him when he saw how depressed the boy was when he was trying to get Olamide, mm. and he decided to. So I see that there's this type of unity and connection mm -hmm. in our in entertainment industry. But yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. You're in the industry yeah, presently, so yeah. is there uh, is there anybody giving you any issue? Though? Are people nah, trying to reach nah. out to him? Let's talk to them. Oh, no, let's call them out. Let's call them out. Let's call them out. Uh, <laughs> see, real talk. The people I have around me, mm -hmm. the the team I have around me, are people that just believe in the music. Mm -hmm. uh, the people that if, if they get to hear you, be like, "Oh, this is great. This needs to be heard." And I'm like, "Yo, you don't even know me, and you're trying to do this for me." Like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so great. once they appreciate good music, they want to get you out there. Mm. Yeah. You know, once you meet the right people, everyone loves music in Nigeria. Yeah, right. Yes. You know, everyone, no, no matter if it's old school or new school, True everybody that. loves music in Nigeria. Yeah. It's, it's part of the things that just keep, keeps us moving as a country. Mm. Mm. You know, if 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 if, if 
Buhari could sing. You'll be the favorite. Be <laughs> the best president. <laughs> You'll be the best. <laughs> don't, let, don't let us know. But I'll be a joke. No, no, no. Guys, 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 I'm just saying. Guys, I'm just saying. Guys, just, guys, guys. Just have it in mind. Like, SSS is real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's exactly where we wrap up on this episode of Tea Time. You can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on all our social media platforms or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, you can watch us in London on Ben TV. I can't and won't end the show without giving a special shout out to my co anchor, Ewari 2, aka Bouncing Baby Girl, as yeah. she is fondly called, as well as OG. <laughs> and thank you, as always, to the production crew. I'm Mifel Luwa Oshinkere saying thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. And people are still by. Some say they look myself, minimal you. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest stories in entertainment and showbiz. My name is Efeo Lua Oshunkaya. To bring you up to speed with all the trending entertainment stories, with me right now is the beautiful and delectable Ewa Ritu and the eloquent OG. What's going on, my people? Hello. Oh. How's your day been? Great, 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 great. All right, so let's get right to the agenda. Before we get right into the agenda. You have just uh, Yes. So. <laughs> hey, scoop. Okay, now, um, Tony Amako, mm -hmm. Tony Abraham, okay, I saw finally that. filed a proper um, legal, what do you call it, lawyer? A legal document or the legal case. Legal case against, against yeah. um, what's her name again? I don't know her. Um, Lizzie and Jory. I don't know. Her. You know, you just don't well, like yeah, her. Yeah, wherever that <laughs> is, anyways. <laughs> and I'm super, I'm super excited about that. I mean, it's, things need to be done. Yeah, the right way, it's not know. just about coming on um, yeah. Instagram and typing stuff. It's now, face the real deal, and let's see how long they can last. Mm. Let's see how long this will last. <laughs> if they won't settle out, of course. <laughs> All right, like. Oh, okay, you don't know anything about I that story, know, right? All right, so let's get right to the agenda of the day as we start with the foreign scene. American record producer Jason Boyd, also known by his stage name Pooh Bear, who is best known for being one of Justin Bieber's main collaborators. Um, Bugless made off with $1 million worth of jewelry at Pooh Bear's pad, but had a hiccup during the heist because the hitmaker's safe was way too heavy to simply carry away. <laughs> so <Surveillance> much money. <laughs> Well. Surveillance video from Pubia security cam at his massive Hollywood Hills crib showed three burglars making a forceful entrance. The bad guy stole an entire safe filled with a treasure trove of bling. In the surveillance footage of the burglar, the burglars could be seen struggling to make it up to the driveway with the safe, but succeeded eventually. The record producer was away in Tokyo celebrating his 41st birthday when the burglary took place. Wait, celebrity knows that these people come for them, like they target them when they are not home. So next time they are leaving their house, they, they should always for... keep somebody out. They are looking for work. <laughs> they don't have to be to come and stay. I mean, I would protect all that expensive jewelry for. Do you know how much you pay me? It, it, yeah, but yeah, imagine how much he has in there with the jewelry yeah, and all of that. Per, and that's like a great the loss. most important things yeah, it he takes, has. It like, takes a yeah. lot to actually rob. Uh, Someone like Pubia. Yeah, it takes a lot. You know, he Pubia must... has been there since the days of once well. Mm. And of course. He's been working really hard. Like, he's my, with In my opinion, I think it's an inside job, though. 
Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. No, things like that don't just happen. Obviously, it has to be an inside job. They have to know you're away. You get mm. like it has to be things like that. You have Even to have if inside it's not information. An inside job. I mean, people that want to come and rob somebody like that, they'll have like proper plan. You know how they plan out to rob a bank in all these movies. I'm sure they would have planned it. No, like these that. guys didn't look like they had a proper plan <laughs> because if they did, they wouldn't. They would realize that it's actually that heavy. Like yeah. it has a whole lot. Of and I was confused if it's just my idea of a safe. Jigga, in my head, I was thinking, mm, when I when I said the headline before watching the video, I'm like, it's safe. It's supposed to probably be locked down somewhere or attached to like the wall or you know how this no, safe thing look like style, the different safes like I mean then I anyone. think it needs to keep it safe, safer next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Pun. Yeah, Pun because intended. if it's something that somebody can just lift from somewhere, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not that safe. No, then know? that's why it's so heavy. It was too heavy. Like, to take off. But, but it was not that care. heavy. They were able to move for it. For all you care, it might not even be the content that is that heavy. Maybe that's the part of um, protect the part of the protection plan for the safe that it has to be really heavy, so no one can just easily pick it up and move. Well, but well, I think they're saying up to a million dollars. That has yeah, to be a jury, lot. So. Yeah, but you know how much these people wear. Like, mm -hmm. Real blanks. Mm -hmm. Real blanks. But let's just hope he has insurance. He definitely has insurance. Definitely. So. Mm -hmm. And so I hope the covered. perpetrators are caught because that's what. But did you guys see the smartest burglar? The one that just went with the duffel bag and just took off? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't even no struggle. Stress. No struggle at all. And I think there's, there's the last one should be female because she has yeah. this female yeah. What if it's body. Bobisky? Oh my God. <laughs> But Bobisky, please don't, don't come and file anything <laughs> against me. Oh I'm, my I'm just God, teasing. it's not Bob Risky. Bob you... Risky. Ha, no. <laughs> not even Bob Risky. Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. So. Maybe Bob Risky is not that smart. He's really not that smart. Right? Yeah, right. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're not going to say anything. You're not going to say anything. No. Oh, you want to be Switzerland on this one? No, no. That's problem. how you do it. Okay, but the thing is, I think that last person is a female, though. Definitely a female. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. From uh, body language and everything, mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Looked like she actually made a phone call, looked around, ran to the house, got the duffel bag, and... Like, is anyone coming, you know, check mm -hmm. up and stuff like that? Inside I job. Think, yeah, it's, it's definitely an inside job from the look of things. And they have this chemistry going on, yeah, like, like it's they nothing. knew the surrounding, yeah, like, right. this is somewhere they've been before. You get Probably all they have. I've too many Oceans movies. You know? <laughs> maybe, we're, maybe we're over processing this. Yeah. Yeah. We may just yeah, be maybe. Over processing. maybe these guys are just some random guys that just realized that, oh, Let's this break into is, this is guy's outside not around. the country. Yes. Let's just... No, I, I disagree. I, I think you probably watched the last Oceans movie. Right. If they could do it, we could do it too. Three people, three man job. Get the blueprint, get his address. And... Okay. That's okay. like too much maths for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for a break. When we return, we'll be telling you why award-winning singer Dekunle Gold gets frustrated. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. And people are still bad. Some say they look myself, minimal you. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Like I said before the break, we're going to bring you scoop on Adekunle Gold. Adekunle Gold, in a new email sent to his fans, has revealed the struggles as an independent artist and how, it has be, how he has been able to pull through. He also revealed that he gets frustrated when the progression or validation does not match the amount of work he puts in. He further referred to the fans as a lock while the artist hold the key. He said, and I quote, on the days when your keys don't match, you must remember to retain the love and joy of creating and pat yourself on the back for the doors you have already unlocked. On the Today's new doors open. Be thankful that you tried because that was the reward for trying. 
And um, I think I really want to come to a G on this <laughs> one, being <laughs> an independent artist yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, true. so um, how do you pull through when you, in your darkest hours? <laughs> just just believe in God and just keep pushing. All right, so the, let's come back to Adekunle Gold now. And, and now, can you relate to Of course, everything he said? of course. Most, most, not just independent artists, every, every artist goes through, through that type of struggle. Mm. By the time you put in so much work creating the music, uh, from the writing aspect, from trying to tell a story, you know, then you meet up with the producer, trying to come up with the right type of instrumentals. Mm -hmm. You spend nothing less than, to get a proper song done, two weeks. Most people say you can do it in a, in a day, in a, one night you have a hit, but a proper song Does make same takes mastering. a whole lot. No, it might not be mixing the matching aspect. You always come oh. back. You know, you record one part, you go back home like, oh, I didn't do this part right. I do it right. Yeah, you Should go I back to the studio, we come back, oh, this, this sound is way too loud. By the time you feel this is a complete project, let me put it out. And you know, people die, die in trouble, they're dead. Once the song's out, you're expecting to get more like, let's say, in the first week, like 100,000 streams. Mm. And you're on, you're on like 500 streams alone. And you're like, what's happening? Did, I didn't do this right. But now, it now boils down to your target market. Mm. Uh, the people that listen to your music. Mm -hmm. uh, where do they hang out? Where do they chill? Do I put out my music for them to listen to or should I try and please everybody? The mistake is when you try to please everybody, you get no results mm. or little. Okay, but you focus on your target market. Uh, no matter how small they are, you watch it grow. Mm. Uh, so, some, some hit tracks, their first month was whack. Mm. But when they keep, kept on I listening think to most it, it builds, it builds promotion. up. Promotion the is key. The more you mm. listen to the song, the, the more, more you begin you to buy it. Yeah. So I like what you said about um, your target audience because mm. you have to know your market. Exactly. Now, Adekunle Gold Sound is not for everybody. Not I think it's for right. very much be, all people like me. He must be mature like to me. enjoy his music. Uh, what? He must be mature to enjoy his music. Yes, yeah. you have to be. Mm -hmm. And um, his sound is different. It's not your regular sound. So I get where it's coming from. And if you look at Adekunle Gold, I've seen Adekunle Gold via his life. I've mm -hmm. seen his performance and I see the amount of energy he puts into his craft. But um, you won't say, I won't say he's underrated, but I won't say he's supposed, I, I won't say he is where he's supposed to be. I think he should be I, up there, yeah. no, you get what I mean, but he's still doing very well. No, gradually, but I, I think he's up there. I'm just going to um, someone like Timmy Dakolo, Jiget. Timmy Dakolo is not underrated, but like he's. I don't know. I don't want to say it's where you you get. I mean, and then Kule God cannot tell me he's not making money, of like course, proper you know, money. What he's saying, and if you, I was going to touch on what he said. It's okay for him to feel that way. I mean, everybody feels that way. I'm sure it's we not still just feel about that way. Artists. I'm sure David Dofi. Yeah, everybody. Every, it's I'm not sure just every... it's, even. Let's take the arti artist out of it. I mean, every single human being on this planet Earth feels that way. I mean, when you've tried so much just so that, ah, once I'm done with this thing, you know, you, it happens to you now. Once I'm done with this report or something, it's going to be it's a going killer. To, and then somebody's watching it and it's telling you, this, this, that, nah. oh. Nah, we, we, we're not feeling it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, it's okay for you to feel frustrated. But like he said, I like the fact that after recounting all the old stress, then he gave a word of encouragement too for other people that are probably feeling that way. Like when you're down, just pass And I back. think that he just broke down what you said. Like you need to understand your audience and you need to have love for what you do. Exactly. Mm. If you don't have the love, you will probably keep getting frustrated and you get to a point where you feel like, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm not doing music. I think that was what almost happened to YJ. YJ, yeah. Yes, but she now realized that, oh, I got into this business in the first place because of the love and mm -hmm. because um, the lives I really want to touch with my music. It doesn't matter if it's just five people that are listening. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm making an impact, True. that's all that matters. Mm. And that's what Adekunle Gold is trying to let everybody know that. Look, for you to get into music, because I know people that, man, they've been underground for like 15 years. But you still see them going to the studio, dropping the songs, they'll still yeah. keep sending you tracks like, oh, this is my new jam. And I'm like, I haven't even heard your old jam. Like, <laughs> <Like ever. laughs> like, I haven't heard the whole one and you're sending me a new one. Okay, yeah. fine, let's listen to this. So um, I think it's just about the love. You just have to keep doing your thing. And um, if you see the, um, what's it called, the fans like a lock mm. and you were holding the key, mm -hmm. just keep trying. Oh, definitely, you one definitely, day you get the master definitely. key. And was it last week we're I think Bonner about Boy was also on that. It's been there, path. yeah. Yeah, it's been there. Was it last that. week we're talking about people seeking validation from other people? Mm -hmm. If you think you want to get approval, yes, 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 from everybody, trust me, you're not going to move an inch from that point that you are. Because 
Even if you're doing something nice, there are some people that don't like you and will tell you what you're doing is not it. But I don't point. know if anybody picked up on the part where um, Adekunle Gold said, if you read through this email, then you'll probably be invited Bet to listen to uh, my, my baby. baby. Are you sure Simi is not pregnant? <laughs> well, I've been seeing her videos. She uh, maybe it's just three weeks now, two weeks. So. I mean, there's been rumor that she's pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not far from the truth oh. then. All right, we need to move <laughs> on. Okay, so moving on, Ghanaian Award CEO Sadiq Abdullahi Abu took a swipe at BET organizers over the nomination of Nigerian rapper Fowles in same category with other superstar rapper just last week who we were excited to announce to you that on Thursday the 12th of September Files was unveiled alongside other international artists as nominees for the 2019 BET Epop Awards in best new in BET's new best international flow category alongside Nasty C from South Africa Sarkodie Ghana to Relance Canada OG Gets UK which is that you? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Little Sims UK. Well, since someone isn't happy to have files in the same category as Sarkodie, as Sadiq asked I'm... during a radio interview in Ghana, what's Files doing in the BET's best international flow category? Oh, wow. I think it is disrespectful to Sarkodie for Files to be in the same category as him. Hmm. Looking at the standard Sarkodie has set, Sarkodie has been there and done that. There is no slowing down. I hope he wins. Hmm. This guy, does he know that is BET Award 2019, not <laughs> BET Award 2001 or two or three? I and mean, then if you're talking is... about the category mm. Best International Flow, now I think our uh, moral instruction files is our know, that, 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 right. that, that, that album. Award. That album is... Caught across every... Uh, what, what's that word? It's legendary because mm. from it's track epic. one to the last <laughs> track, Hypocrite, every track on the album has content filled with what people could actually mm -hmm. relate with. You know, he was talking about what the Nigerian uh, system is about, mm -hmm. the youths, the struggles. Mm -hmm. That's More like that's something a, a fella would do. No yeah. disrespect to the legend. No, but... <laughs> but, but, but no, 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 no. But it sounded like something a but, fella would do. Right. Yeah. But if you should take, take away Fowl's playfulness, he's actually a dope rapper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he takes it seriously, mm -hmm. you know, but he yeah, rapping it he, the way he, he must does, be moving. Yeah, that's his style, <laughs> I'm, and I'm very sure is it's, it's his person's style that actually got him that nomination in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I think he, he deserves to be there with the rest of them. Yeah, he does, but and probably deserves to win it too. I, I see my winners already though. <laughs> not to see stuff though. But. Yeah, yeah, like but, I see my winners already, <laughs> like, but I don't, I know, don't want to but, say who I think my winners would be, but at just, all, there has to be just one winner at the I'm end of the day. I'm for Fowles. Yeah, yeah definitely. Fowles, Fowles, he yeah. deserves to be because he's, but he's, I think he's this putting, guy, he's, he's putting yeah. a whole lot of work. Mm -hmm. I think this guy just said a whole lot of trash for comparing Fowles and Sarko there because I mean, in as much as yeah, in as much as Sarko there has been there for a longer um, time frame, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that Fowles hasn't put in as much work it's not about as, as far, Sarko there. It's yeah. about our well, our well, mm -hmm. and then sure. who get who has more international recognition? Mm -hmm. We might say Sarko there. Presently, though, you can be so international. Sure. Yeah, international. Mm -hmm. Sarko there has been nominated for yeah, BT how many times? Mm -hmm. Fowles, I think this is Fowles. Is um first time, is it? No, see, um, I want us to understand that this is 2019 BET Award. So, and this get, is a new, a category. new category. So it's not like it's something that if Faust has done it this year, and then I, I trust me, it's not if Faust has Faust has done it this year, and then it deserves to be on that list. Do you get? No, so it. whatever Sako Day has done in the past, okay, it's okay. We like him, we love him, but this year I think year, this guy is up mm. to something. I think he's just trying to use this to get clout. It's clout chasing. And I right think now I, when I saw it, I feel like. He knows that so many people probably come and support him because of what's going on right now <laughs> about people coming for Nigerians and all of that. But people need to understand that if you're hard working, you will get that thing. You can't say because this person is a Nigerian and then um, another African country is there, you, you, okay, as, because you're Nigerian, we don't want competition. I think it also boils down to what Obrafo from Ghana was also saying that um, they need to start supporting each other. Yeah, because it doesn't even matter who what, gets it. Yeah, what country because we have um, people from um, the UK on that list, people Canada. from Canada. Canada. Tory Lanez is on that Tory list. Is on so, that list. So, I mean, you understand? is it not disrespect so, to Saka Day and Tory Lanez to get that? Do you get it? Like, we can also say it's very disrespectful, <laughs> very disrespectful. to put the Saka Day and Tory Lanez yeah, 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 together. That, you yeah, get it. But at the end of the day, it's 
I think the space is big enough for everybody. Yeah. And then we should be rooting for Africans. Of Whether course. it's a South African, a the Nigerian, Ghanaian, a Ghanaian, yeah. as yeah. long as it comes back home to yeah. us, I think that's all we should be happy about. Definitely. But these people, they're just like, uh, they, they always try to... Uh, Pitch artists against each other. Now you see, every people start saying. Or if you check, did you check the comment section? Yeah, I did. a lot of people blasted like Sakode. We don't even understand after yeah. the thing. And, 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 and truth is this: that Sakode could just be in his house, not even knowing this is actually going on. And then you drag the poor boy into yeah, this. So. And then he's getting dragged by people <laughs> over somebody <laughs> else's comment. Nigerians. Do you understand? Just, they're and, not getting slow. Of course, they're not, taking, no, they're, not, they're not even taking it slow. I'm sure the guy is regretting saying it right now. You know, a lot of people are even this. saying we don't even know who you are. I'm, I'm sure Sakode will call him. I'm like, bro, don't mention my name again, please. <laughs> they, they're probably too cool. Much. They're probably cool. Are you but, sure? Um, I, know Fowles, I know Files goes to Ghana a lot. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, when they see you to Monasi finish now in the Kosam, mm. you know, we that I told me they form for us. But you know, when it goes to another country, and you probably blend in and it's feeling at home and it's trying to carry them along and all of that. They start feeling like, oh, maybe it's just, it's an just ordinary, you get what I mean. You know. They feel like it's just fouls. But out here, I know how difficult it is to lay your hand on the fouls, mm. to get a fouls to be on your bill, to get a fouls to be on your show. I know how difficult it is to mm. get that. Mm. It's a serious long thing. It's a big boy at the moment. So do you get what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what this guy is on about but well i think that's his opinion so and i think we we all agree that man Faust is qualified over qualified, yeah, over -qualified. Is on that new flow yeah, because that's a new flow you yeah. must be moving yeah it's, 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 it's <laughs> unique. Unique. all right so it's and it's time for another short break when we return we'll be dissecting one more story don't go nowhere